We have had so much information dropping on us today, and yeah, uploads are not going to be slowing down for me. We're going to be going over the new exotics that are hitting us this season with Season of the Drifter, as well as some new perks here that are being added to our perk pool, which is excellent. We've been asking for this for a while now. By the way, guys, all of the information that we have here in front of you today is being pulled from LightGG. So first up, Thorn. This is an exotic hand cannon that's been talked about for a while now. It will be in the kinetic slot. It comes with the perk Mark of the Devourer. Rounds pierce targets and deal damage over time. Kills with this weapon leave behind remnants. We saw those things, those are like those green orbs, which ties directly into this trait here called Soul Devourer. Absorbing a remnant strengthens Mark the Devourer and partially refills the magazine. Now granted, we don't know how much it's going to strengthen it, how much Mark of the Devourer is going to be doing in terms of damage over time. But we can see here though that Thorn is a 150 round per minute hand cannon. The same as it was back in destiny one and we will be doing a pre-review of thorn like we did last word where we go back into destiny one play with it that way we can draw direct comparisons between its d1 version to now its d2 version overall guys the perks here look really good look really solid i like that there's a trait there that's tying into market the devourer so i'm excited about this one moving on to arbales i think i'm saying that right arbales this is an exotic kinetic linear fusion rifle yes you heard it right boy it uses special ammo it will be present in the kinetic slot and it comes with the exotic perk here compounding force it fires slugs that can cause massive damage to elemental shields of any combatant so not necessarily something we're going to take advantage of in pvp but i wonder how much damage that actually does now our trait here is called disruption break breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period now the benefit with this perk obviously we've seen this perk on many of our other weapons but the benefit here is that disruption break is present on a kinetic weapon. So you're going to be doing more damage with compounding force. And as soon as you break the shield, now you're going to be doing more damage because of disruption break and Arbalus is a kinetic weapon. Actually a very nasty combo here, guys. I wonder how it's all going to tie though into PvP because obviously these perks here can't really be utilized in PvP. But something tells me that just default, this kinetic linear fusion is going to be pretty nasty. Moving on to some exact exotic armor pieces yes we've got some new exotic armors this season we've got some titan exotic gauntlets here called stronghold they come with an exotic perk called clench fists guarding with swords increase move speed and does not drain ammo shots block immediately after guarding will heal you what the hell is this that's very situational but at the same time could be very very potent your back's pushed up the wall you're taking a lot of damage you pull a sword out you start blocking it, you're not burning any ammo while you're blocking because you've got these gauntlets on and you're healing yourself. Now, considering the ammo economy inside of PvP, I don't really know how often we'll be able to take advantage of Stronghold, but it definitely has some playmaking potential. Now, moving on to the Liar's Handshake. These are also exotic hunter gauntlets. They come with the exotic perk Cross Counter. Using your arc melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counterpunch that will heal you mother of god i don't think they realize what they've just done some of you are going to know what i'm talking about but y'all remember strikers sure hand that sword can be utilized with surrounded as well as other perks without ammo on top of that you can even stack it with melees like combination blow here with striker sure hand and now we'll be able to stack it here with liar's handshake for an extremely powerful counter punch boys i don't know how much damage we can actually put out with this but i hope it's a lot I hope it's nasty. The synergy's there, guys. We're just gonna have to get our hands on these exotics, as well as a God Roll Striker Sure Hand that can be utilized without ammo, and we might be able to run around and one-hit melee bosses down. Now, moving on to the next exotic here, the Getaway Artists. These are exotic Warlock Gauntlets. They come with the exotic perk Dynamic Duo. Hold to convert your Arc Grenade into a supercharged Arc Soul. The Arc Soul functions as an autonomous turret. What? All right, that's it. I'm wearing a dress, boys. What are we, the division? We got turrets in here now? Man, I'm really bummed out as a titan. Like, I want a turret? Dude, that sucks. That's really nasty. Well, fellas, those are your exotics for this season. Now, moving on to the perks. These are perks that are also featured on LightGG's site. I'm not sure how these perks are being introduced into the perk pool. I'm assuming these perks will only be allowed to roll on new weapons this season. So first up, let's take a look at Substance. 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 Okay, I just looked. It's actually called Subsistence. How elegant. Kills partially reload the magazine from reserves. 
but reserve capacity is reduced. Huh? Wow, that can be pretty nasty, especially on certain like LMGs. Like if we got more rapid fire LMGs in the game, this could be really, really nasty. Or even like a rocket launcher. Now moving on to Swash Buckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. Love that the emblem there is like a fist and a pistol. Um, yeah, that looks pretty nasty. Depends on how much damage we actually get an increase from. It's really surprising that it comes from both. Something tells me this is gonna be a sidearm perk. Moving on to multi-kill clip reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand oh my god dude, dude that sounds nasty fellas that sounds really nasty now in order for this perk to really work well hopefully there's like a time frame there that allows us to actually gain more multi kills right i don't know how rapidly they want those rapid kills to be is what i'm saying if they gotta be like one right after another then we might not be able to take advantage of multi kill all that much now the next trade here is overflow picking up special or heavy ammo reloads this weapon to beyond normal capacity at what point does that stop there's probably like a cap that you can't go over you know what i mean but for certain weapons especially if you're like getting ready for like a dps phase god this is a really nasty perk here demolitionist kills with this weapon generate grenade energy activating your grenade ability reloads this weapon from reserves okay not a bad perk there i can definitely see myself using this in comp there's a lot of times in comp i don't have a suppressor grenade on hand so if i'm getting kills with that weapon that's generating more grenade energy especially when you start to get into those later rounds or later in the game when you have people chaining super one after another this could be really nasty it really just comes down to how much grenade energy it actually generates now the one two punch hitting an enemy with every pellet in a shot increases melee damage for a short duration okay so obviously that's a shotgun perk it almost seems like the opposite of trench barrel right where you would first lead up with the melee to then benefit from extra shotgun damage this one however is you lead up with a shotgun shot and benefit from extra melee damage definitely a perk we will be able to utilize inside of pvp really it just comes down to how much it does increase melee damage though like if it allows you to one hit melee people, oh, that's going to be nasty, especially on something like a slug shotgun. You land a precision kill with a slug shotgun. You now have a one hit melee on your hand and you slap somebody could be pretty nasty. Moving on to firing line. This weapon deals increased precision damage when near two or more allies. Oh my God. Ah, no, no, they didn't. Why would they make such a perk? Well, if you happen to be butt buddies with your friends and allies, you'll now all gain the benefit of increased precision damage. So welcome to year one, Destiny 2. Full court, increased detonation damage as the projectile travels further before exploding. Sounds like a grenade launcher perk. You can see it there, it's a grenade. Not sure how much it increases that damage. If it's gonna be like a special grenade launcher, would it allow us to not have to hit direct hits and still get a one hit kill? You know what I mean? We'll have to just test it and see. Moving on to shattering blade. If your heavy attack consumes the last of your ammo, it deals significantly increased damage, excludes aerial attacks. Oh boy, I see it right now. We're gonna figure out some way to glitch the last half or the last like three of your sword to where we always have three ammo. There's gonna be a way, trust me boys. Somebody's gonna figure it out. Well fellas, those are your perks and exotics. I also wanted to cover pinnacle weapons, but we'll be reviewing those individually. Light GG right now just shut down on me. But as soon as we get our hands on them and Light GG's back up, we'll be covering those pinnacle weapons as well. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.